host Storm Team 2 meteorologist Cameron Saliga with the Miami Valley Certified Most Accurate Forecast. Well, yesterday we did see just a few thunderstorms, uh, one, maybe two there, and they didn't put too, they didn't put too much rain down there, uh, really just under a tenth of an inch for those who did receive any rain here as we went through the daytime yesterday. It was more scattered in nature and uh, more developed. Those storms were as they moved off to the east. You could see there the blue and the purples just off to the east. Those are more than uh, an inch and a half. So definitely saw those thunderstorms, but they happened off to the east for the most part. And we'll have chances of thunderstorms during the daytime today. Very low as we go through the morning hours. I expect us to stay dry here into the uh, early afternoon hours. Right around 3, 4 o'clock, though, we'll start to see some storms fire on off. And we could see some uh, chances of some uh, scattered thunderstorms here as we get into those late afternoon hours and early into the evening time as well. Now, if you could get your uh, lawn mode before the three o'clock hour, then today is going to be a great day for that Thursday as well after the uh, morning hours. We should see storms move out right around 8, 9 a.m. and then be dry for the rest of the day. Friday and Saturday do look ideal as we look to stay dry. It's going to get hot, though, uh, hotter at least than what we've seen here over the past couple of days as we head into the weekend, though. So here going through the daytime, we'll start off with lots of sunshine. We'll see that continue as we go through the middle of the day, maybe add a few clouds here and there. 82 and 85 by noon and 2 p.m. Eventually, though, we'll see the chances of some storms and showers going into the 4 o'clock hour. That continues into the early evening as well. We'll see another chance for some storms later into the nighttime, but uh, those were not expected to be severe. And we're not really expecting this one to be severe either. It's just that we could see an isolated damaging wind gust here as we go later in the afternoon hours. Live Doppler 2 HD here for the uh, nearly 6 a.m. now. It's pretty quiet as we start the day off. But you can see just to the northwest, some storms starting to fire on off. Uh, they've been continuing to fire here over the last couple of hours. They'll eventually, as the sun comes up, we'll start to see some more uh, coverage from those storms. And eventually that cold front will move in and we'll see those dew points reduced here as we head into the weekend there. So that's some uh, good news as we go through the next couple of days. We'll get some relief from the humidity. Future track here as we go through the daytime, it's going to be a pretty quiet start to the day. You can see there as we head into the middle of the daytime, there is just one blip there on future track. Heading through the rest of the afternoon, we'll have on and off chances of some thunderstorms here. And you can see that chance does continue as we we head into 8 p.m. and early into the nighttime. Another round potentially of a few showers, maybe a rumble of thunder as we start the day off tomorrow. So if you have any uh, work plans to get to uh, work early in the morning, maybe just bring an umbrella just in case here as we go through the daytime. Over the uh, daytime today, 86 will be your high. A few thunderstorms and overnight dropping down to 66. And tomorrow will be cooler at 84 with those morning thunderstorms potential. As we go through the next seven days, lots of sunshine going through the weekend. Temperatures getting up to 90 degrees on Sunday. Thunderstorms return on Monday.